Hey everybody, this is Bobby with Bobby Stamps and I have my third card to share with you guys today in my January free card packet and this is it. It's kind of one of those fun fold cards. Um, if you watched back in, I think it was October, November, I made a fall card and I had scored it wrong and kind of came up. I don't know if there's anybody else out there that's done that. I'm sure there is, but um, I just kind of like the look of this. So I have Whisper White and Basic Black, and then this layer and this layer of Whisper White, I embossed with the Polka Dots Basic Embossing Folder. So that is this paper here, the Whisper White. So this will go on the card front, and then this will go on the side. And I'll show you that in just a second. So here's the card base that is a uh, basic black and it's scored I believe at three and three quarters. I'll have all of the information on my blog um, for you guys to um, figure out if you want to do it. So this is how it's going to go together. This will go on the front and then this piece will go right, right here like that on that side corner. Okay. So we will go ahead and get started. The stamp set that we're going to use today is the Celebration Party Pandas. This is super popular right now. You see a lot of cards. I'm in a lot of Facebook groups and there's a lot of cards being made with that. So then I took a piece of basic black and another piece of Whisper White and I used my layering circles framelits and I used the scalloped for the basic black. Let's just move this out of the way so you can see that better. So that is that piece there and then I just used the plain one for the piece of Whisper White. And that's what we're going to do our stamping on. So let me just tuck those away so I don't lose them. We'll get the embossing folder out of the way. And then anybody that places an order in my online store in December, I'm going to send the a pack of the Baker's Twine, the basic black Baker's Twine that we're going to use for this card. So for the free card packets, if you spend $25, I will send you one free card packet and $35, you earn two. And for $50, you, re you, re you earn all three. And then you would also get the Baker's Twine. So it has to be a $50 order to receive the Baker's Twine. Okay. So we'll just go ahead. And then I'm also using Memento ink. I want it to dry fast so I can assemble it and put it together really quick. So we'll just ink him up in Memento ink. And we're just going to stamp him right in the center of the card like that. Oh, and I didn't get him good, so let's try that again. I'm just going to actually, you know what, I don't want to flip it over. I have another one. Hold on a second. I have an another one right beside me because I was just working on the free card packets. So I didn't get it inked up or either I didn't press hard enough. So let's try that again. Let me scoot that out of the way. Ink them up really well and then right in the center. There we go, that's more like it. Then I'm gonna take the little sentiment that says, I love you, and we're just gonna ink that up. And you know what, I am gonna put my paper towel down so I don't get my work surface because I did want to stamp off. In doing this, we're just gonna randomly place the little I love yous all around the little panda like that. Let's do one right there. Okay. We'll just close this back up now. Get our paper towel out of the way. And I'm going to grab some snail. And we'll just put a little bit of snail on the back. And then just put that right there on top of our basic black and then I'm going to take some fast fuse and I'm just going to put it on the back 
and grab the baker's twine. If I can find where it, there we go. And before I adhere it, I'm just going to put that right there like that. That's going to hold my baker's twine in place. And then we'll bring this one around and then just clip it off. And if you want to, you could use tape to hold that down. But the fast fuse is going to hold it in place. We're just going to make sure that we have that all even. And then we'll just center that on the card front like so. And then we're going to grab our other piece of Whisper White that we've embossed. I think I might be running out of fast fuse. There we go. Now this piece we're just going to put, we're going to try to get it even here on the card front, but we do have to open it up a little bit in order to get it to fit in there. I got that a little bit crooked, so let me see if I can take that off real quick without ripping the basic black. I just want to, I just need to inch it over there we go just a little bit there we go that looks much better okay then I'm going to take some dimensionals probably four just going to put him right there in the center and then I'm going to take a little bit of the baker's twine and just make a tiny bow. I should have probably done this off camera because I have such a hard time with my bows. With, with, if the, the ribbon or baker's twine like this, the thinner it is, the harder I have a time making them, I think. So let's just see. That looks super cute there. Now, we will just, I'm just going to take both of those and kind of even them up. Cut that off there just a bit too long. And then let me grab a glue dot. Let me find my piercing tool. It should be in here. So I'm just going to take a glue dot now. And because this is small, um, the baker's twine, I'm just going to kind of roll that with my, maybe I'm going to roll it with my finger like that. I'm just going to double it up and then pick it back up and put it, you can either put it on your card, on the back of your bow, however you want to do it. I'm just going to do it just like that and put that right there. So there you guys go. This is card three for my December or um, January free card packet. You can visit my blog. It's bobbystamps.com and I'll have all the measurements and all the details on my blog. Thanks so much for stopping by guys.